Hey there, welcome. This is me, the Metaverse Explorer. This is episode one in Grapes Solana's Alpha, where we look at really important things that I think you should know and the entire ecosystem has to show you. In the meantime, I'm going to provide you with links down below and also timestamps all the way down here. So you can skip to specific topics that you might be interested in. In this series, we look at kind of tutorials and just general alpha that will really, really help you throughout your journey in the Solana ecosystem. That being said, let's start with this small clip. Have a watch. Much faster, kind of be more gentler about it. Wait till chat launches. They're going to blow people's fucking minds for borrowing and lending. I just have to say that. It's a final investment, so I, I should disclose that. But I'm, I'm super fucking excited for Jet Protocol on borrowing. Do you guys know who that was? That was Matthew Graham from Sino Global Capital. They are a venture capital firm um, and they heavily focus in the Solana ecosystem. Let me show you a few of the projects that they're interested in. FTX, Solana, Serum, Parrot, Mercurial, Jet, Cope, Zappa, Oxygen, Maps, Bonfida. So that's a few of them that they're really interested in. So I think it's worthwhile listening to what he has to say about uh, projects within Solana. So he heavily talked about Jet Protocol. Let's talk about Jet Protocol for a bit. So this is a Medium article that they say, uh, who are Jet Protocol in general? So Will Barnes and James Ryan Moreau, they were together in 2017 uh, at Consensus. They've done a few things that you might be familiar with if you're in the um, crypto ecosystem. So they stabilized the MakerDAO. They led onboarding of $3 billion into MakerDAO. And they built out support for um, MetaMask. And they also led support for the first multi-blockchain non-consodial staking in governance interface. Um, they have a DevNet out now. Let's have a look at what they can do. So this is the JET protocol that we're talking about. They have a DevNet. Let's have a look. Uh, first of all, it is very light. Uh, everyone in the crypto sphere would probably hate this. So let's go ahead and change it to dark. Oh, that's so much better, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and connect with our phantom wallet. So what is JET protocol? JET protocol is a lending and borrowing services. The same thing that he said. Some some of the competitors you can think of them on the Solana ecosystem are Solend or maybe um, Port Finance, Mango Markets, Larix. There's a few of them. Once you're logged in, you can see that there is a nice little interface here. I'll try and make it large so everyone can see. Since this is DevNet, you can go ahead and request tokens on the right hand side here. Let's request some USDC. I've clicked on it. I'm going to approve the transaction. Very good. And now we've gotten an airdrop of 100 USDC. Very nice. Let's request some Bitcoin. Approve. Three, two, one. And it's here. How fast is Solana, right? All right, let's look at the settings for a bit. Um, this is uh, just the RPC node they use. You can look at the wallet, you can look at the theme and the languages. They have a cockpit, which is where you can lend and borrow your assets. Right now, let's try and deposit some SOL. I already have some uh, SOL deposited, but let's try and deposit. I have nine testnet SOL here. Let's deposit one testnet SOL. We go ahead, approve it, and we are now approved. That was very easy. So at the same time, you can go ahead and borrow. So instead of borrowing some Solana, let's try and borrow some Ethereum. I haven't uh, borrowed any of anything, so I'm going to borrow one Ethereum. Three, two, one. Very good. Now you can look at this on the DevNet Explorer as well. So remember, lots of times when you interact with the DevNet contracts, you are sometimes eligible for airdrop. So time to get your hands dirty, ladies, come on. They're, they do have a co-pilot at the moment as well, which assesses your risk and um, your collateral balance in the entire pool. So this says um, my USDC is looking good right now. It has the best deposit rate in the market at 1.59%. And your account is in good standing. So you, we recommend adding some collateral by depositing a portion of your 349 USDC. That's pretty good, isn't it? Let's move on to our next topic. Mercurial Finance, a prominent DEX within Solana ecosystem, has just announced a one of a kind, which is a full pool in the Solana ecosystem. The pool consists of USDC, wrapped USDC, wrapped Tether, and wrapped DAI. Now, these are from the wormhole token. So, this is for intermediate to advanced users only. If you don't know how to bridge uh, funds from ETH or any other chain, then uh, this is probably not for you. Let's go ahead and look at what the full pool looks like on Mercurial. So, the pool is currently offering you 30. 2.13% APY. That's APY, not APR, ladies. And then we can look at the TVL. There's currently $34, $35 million in it at the moment. Now the pool is a bit skewed. We see it's 31% USDC, 28 wrapped USDC, uh, 22 wrapped USDT, and only 70% wrapped DAI. So that means a lot of people aren't transferring their DAI over to the Solana ecosystem. Um, that's something to really note. All right, let's go ahead and demonstrate how you can enter this pool yourself. So let's say I only have one USDC and I 
I want to enter this pool. It'll give me 0 0.1897 uh, wrapped USDC for pool. This is lower than one because my actual token has more in the entire pool. If I was to uh, put one wrapped die inside, I would have a larger portion of the pool, which would be 1.01 something something. So let's go ahead and connect my wallet uh, to Phantom. Phantom is one of the best wallets here. It is connected. Now let's deposit one USDC. Confirm deposit. Three, two, one. Ah, it's a few seconds off. It's okay, I'll forgive it. Better than ETH, better than ETH. We can look at the transaction if we want, but now we can see we have $1 in the share. The API is currently 22.36%. It just got updated. So that's how you really enter the pool. It's very simple. The next topic that you should probably know about is Siri on Twitter. He is uh, one of the main devs behind Cope. Uh, so he wanted to give it, give it out and give a new roulette kind of game to Cope holders and for anyone to try on-chain randomness. He says, you want to try out on-chain randomness on Solana? And he links the code. Let's have a look at uh, someone who had a look at the code. So this is Pierre Arowana. He said, this is not on-chain randomness. This is really bad code. To demonstrate this, I've emptied the treasury. I will return all the funds to Cope once the program is taken down. and no money is put to risk with proper review. Let's have a look at the actual um, uh, on-chain randomness. You can select your uh, wallet here and you can play this roulette. Now that being said, this guy who is a developer at another company says that this is not true on-chain randomness and he was able to drain the entire vault. Now has this actually affected Cope's price? Not really. In the last three days, which this uh, story has started unfolding, Cope has really not been affected. This is probably also likely due to the new farming on Orca and that's be the the next topic we'll talk about the farming on Orca. So Orca announced its Orca's Fall Festival where they actually increased the emissions of Orca tokens from 300k to 600k. There's a new uh, double farms that you can put your token receipts in and try and earn an extra yield. So such as Atlas USDC, Polis USDC, <coughs> excuse me, and even Grape USDC. So if you've got some Grape and you want to provide liquidity, this is a good place to do it. Let's have a look at some of the Orca farms and see what kind of APYs they're giving us. So this is the actual exchange Orca and the current TVL uh, locked is three, uh, $613 million. This is likely due to the new investments that we'll also look at. So $613, uh, 613,000, the Orca price has shot up uh, to $14.60. They do have a few pools here, especially stable pools. What I'm really interested in is the double pools. So as you can see here, they give you an example for every thousand dollars of liquidity you provide such as the cope usdc you will get 0 0.9 cope for one thousand dollars worth of uh, cope they have bot pools wrapped happy slim ninja atlas polis and they also have the grape um, token as well Let's have a look at some of their backers that uh, they just recently announced. So three days ago, they did announce that Orca raised 18 million from Polychain, Placeholder, Three Arrows Capital, and more. And oh, look, there's one more in here, Sino Global Capital. So this is probably likely due to all the new um, interest in the actual Orca token and a new like renewed interest in the Orca platform. Because before this, not many people really cared for it as the yields were pretty low and it had low TVL. But now that they've had some nice backing and some publicity, it's starting to look up for the Orca team. Now just like any other NFT project and uh, DEX and AMM on the blockchain, they are actually giving out NFTs. So they're giving out whale NFTs and clownfish NFTs. To be a whale, you have to be in the top 20 of the liquidity providers, which at the moment is more than a million dollars. If you don't have that, you can probably receive a clownfish NFT, which is one out of a thousand clownfish between the September 23rd and October 17th. That being said, what's the point in getting these uh, uh, NFTs? They do say here that uh, they've been asking for it a limited time and you will be able to stake your collectibles to earn orca rewards so all you had to do was provide liquidity in this platform you might win an nft and if you win an nft you can stake that nft to get more rewards it's a perpetual cycle ladies and gentlemen and i love it next topic is the fabric team who are soon to be releasing the fusdc uh, usd and also the fab punks nft now these fab punks nfts are garnering a bit of attention because one you could earn them for free instead of buying them so let's have a look at the fabric staking roadmap and see what happened so um in 
quarter, quarter two of 2021, they did distribute FAB tokens through an airdrop, and this was if you were holding any COPE. Now, very soon, they will be releasing the FAB punks. Let's have a look at what the FAB punks look like and the rules regarding how you could get one. I want to read you the official announcement, which you probably can't see on the screen. It says, as a way, as a way to say thank you to the community members that have gone above and beyond by providing liquidity, a snapshot has been taken of liquidity providers who will be receiving an airdropped FAB punk shortly after mint release. Let's have a look at some of the mint releases. Uh, this is a picture of it. Their price will be 1.5 sol. Um, and actually, punk owners also do get some benefits. Number one, you have a chance to win our $10,000 grand prize if you find a fab punk meta, which I suppose is one of the rarest, or probably a mythic, I have no idea. Earn a share of the royalties from punks sold on the secondary market, and earn a proportion of rewards from the fabric ecosystem in trade fees. So they've got some pumponomics going on as well. But I genuinely like the, um, like the uh, punks as well. It reminds me of the mutant degen apes era, which is pretty nice. Um, and also because these were actually given out for free first to all the people who provided liquidity, especially if you got these airdrops for free. If you didn't immediately sell your tokens to cash out, then hey, you're being rewarded. Well done. Now, the next topic we're going to talk about is the Boca Chica launch pad, which uh, a lot of people in Solana don't even know. So these this launch pad is actually from the Happy uh, Group, which is the cybersecurity firm. Their aim is to actually create um, a new platforms and new tokens that have inbuilt security features in them. So they recently did their happy uh, bridge onto uh, Solana and they've also just finished their second IDO which is All Bridge. Now, Allbridge, if you haven't heard about Allbridge, they are the reason why we see BUSDC, we see um, APUSDC, um, APUSDT, MATIC, and also CELO from the CELO, CUSD from the CELO um, blockchain. The reason why we see DAI and USDT, uh, UST is mostly because of the wormhole from Terra and also Ethereum. So uh, Allbridge is currently competing with the uh, incumbent, which is uh, the wormhole bridge, which everyone seems to love on Solana. And that's it for today's episode. I'm going to end each series, each episode with a list of a few of the upcoming Solana NFT projects that are launching. There are a shit ton of them. You like you're going to swim in this sea forever. Look at all these ones. So my job is to really pick out which ones I think are actually worthwhile to investigate. Anything that's dog or cat or animal related is probably out. Some of them with really low mint prices to try and cash in the newcomers who can't afford a one, two or three Solana entry. There is one that I'm really interested interested in and I'm going to show you now. I don't endorse this project, I just think it looks pretty cool and has a nice uh, case. So on the 27th of this month there will be one that I'm interested in which is Infinity Lab Scenes from the Soulverse. Uh, this is their website, it looks pretty clean and mint price is going to be uh, 2.5 sol at 9.30 p.m. UTC. Let's have a look at their um, Discord. They currently have uh, I think uh, 6,000 people within their Discord and these are some of the generative images that are being generated generated by the program that they're running. Uh, we can have a look very full screen and see if you are attracted to these. I certainly am. Not that I endorse this project, but they look kind of cool for NFTs. Much better than some of the uh, products that we see on the market now. Okay, would you pay 2.5 sol for this? Let's find out. I'll leave you today with DeFi Llama's uh, Solana TVL at the moment. We're sitting at 8.5 billion with a reduction at 3.47. Now we still have Sabre le leading the pack at uh, 2.7 billion. Uh, Sunny is a close second, but I really disregard Sunny because they're really just taking TVL from Sabre. And as soon as Sunny goes down, everything just goes back to Sabre. We have Orca, which has shot up the ranks to about 600 million. And you can see the change is increase of 1.148% likely due to the new VC investors. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to leave you and love you. Thank you very much. I'll see you in next episode. Ciao.